Hello and welcome to Tech This Out with me, Hermione Way. Not that I'd know, but finding a babysitter must be an absolute nightmare. Well, one London entrepreneur thinks he's come up with an online solution to the problem. Let's see how Tom Harrow gets on in our startup of the week. Okay, startup of the week this week. It's uh, Tom Harrow from uh, findababysitter.com. How are you doing, Tom? Good, thanks. Now, you've just relaunched the business, so you've uh, just been pitching to investors. Yep. Have you done it in an elevator before? Never in an elevator, no. <laughs> So if there's an investor out there, then you think you're going to be able to persuade him to hand over the cash? I can try. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go! Okay, so findababysitter.com. Um, the problem in the UK is it can be very expensive to find childcare. So to go in an, to an agency, you can spend thousands of pounds um, looking for the right person. Findababysitter.com gives the tools to the parents to be able to perform that search themselves. So we have 20,000 registered candidates. They're all geocoded, so it's a very local search. We've invested heavily in our search technology, so it's truly local and works really well. Um, and so if you want to find a French-speaking nanny who, can, who has a driver's license and can, uh, has a CRB check, no problem. Findababysitter.com is the place to find it. So, that's it. Yes. And I take it you take a fee for... Yes, so it's, um, it's much cheaper than going to an agency, so it's £10 uh, at the moment. But we're int introducing some new products which are even cheaper. Brilliant, well thank you very much. Thank you. So, do you think findababysitter.com is scalable? Would you have handed him the cash? Now onto this week's expert, founder of Midio.com and an advocate for getting more young girls interested in tech. This is Carrie Marsh. You tweeted, we asked. Hi, I'm Carrie Marsh from Midio.com on Tech This Out. Uh, initially, yes, because um, a lot of angel investors are um, older, male, and uh, they do have preconceived ideas about women running technology businesses. But if you communicate your message well, um, those prejudices and preconceived ideas do fade quite quickly. Positive discrimination, no, but I think um, diversity in any business um, fuels innovation, and companies that embrace that tend to attract more gender and cultural diversity into their business and that's a good thing. Getting um, younger women to show interest in science and technology is about trying to dispel that image of sort of geeks, white coats, hard hats. Um, you know, uh, entrepreneurship and startup is a bit like the new rock and roll at the moment. So it's trying to um, encourage girls into technology entrepreneurship and to realize that it can be financially rewarding and, um, and glamorous. You can do it on a budget to start off with. You can bootstrap. You can use lots of um, technologies for remote working and um, uh, cloud services for your computing needs. Um, that would be my first one. My second one would be to um, probably accept that you're going to get a lot of your assumptions wrong um, and so be flexible while keeping your vision. Um, and the third one, um, just don't give up. That's it for this week. We'll see you next week for another video log delivered with a wink. <laughs>